Hi, welcome to the Q1 summary of Simple Localize. In this video, we will explore all the new features and improvements that have been released in Simple Localize. Auto translation with OpenAI. We are thrilled to announce the new integration of Simple Localize with OpenAI translation service. It's a simple yet effective way to translate your app or website and an alternative to other translation services. To set up the integration, simply go to your project settings to auto translation and here you can put your OpenAI API key uh, to start the integration and you can start translating your text with OpenAI. Deep Glossary Using a glossary you can create a predefined translation for selected language verb. Deep will use this translation from the glossary during auto translation for more accurate results. To set up your glossary, go to your project settings, go to glossary and create new entry in here. Two-factor authentication. We have introduced an extra layer of security to your account at Simple Localize. To enable two-factor authentication, go to your profile, security and enable 2FA for a more secure experience with Simple Localize. Microsoft and Microsoft Entra ID login. You can now log in to Simple Localize using your personal or organization Microsoft account. You sign in with Microsoft for your personal account or sign in with SSO. To enable this option, just reach out to us and we will set it up for you. Activity filters. You can now filter the results in your project activity by the activity type. Just click on filters and choose what information you need to see in your project activity. Translation editor improvements. Those are my favorite changes from the recent updates. Selection mode. You can use select option to select multiple translation keys. You can just click on the checkboxes on the, or use control or command button to select multiple keys at once. And this option lets you modify those selection um, in an easy and quick way. You can use bulk actions to, for example, auto translate selected keys or to change them, edit namespace, for example. So this should help you in bulk translation keys management. This option works both in the list view and also in the table view here. Now, manage key details. It's a new view with the translation key details uh, with option to set up preferences. You can, for example, disable auto translation for the selected key, so it will be excluded from auto translation. You can lock translations, so it won't be possible to, to change them in the editor. Or you can mark the key as deprecated to indicate to your team that the translation key is no longer in use. For locked translation key, you will see the lock icon and deprecated keys will have a gray font. Review status. If you mark your translations as accepted or not accepted, you can find this option useful. Hold shift on your keyboard and mark the translation as accepted to mark all other translations within the key as accepted as well. And it's the other way around as well. So with this option, you can easily and quickly mark translations, all translations as accepted in this translation key. Okay, I hope you'll find those updates useful. For more details, check out our changelog and blog post link to the description below. If you're interested in what's next, follow our feature requests board with new feature updates. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.